Okay, Malik. We know you were behind the embassy bombing, and also the others. So just say it. The earlier bombings? What are you... Oh, God, I've been captured by morons. I didn't do those bombings. I tried to stop those bombings. I am a patriot, and they called me a crank. Even Emma. But that's when I knew that intelligence wasn't enough. To save the Empire, I would need power. And fast. No, no. You knew about Zero Day before you came to us. I'm a spy. So yes, I knew a few details about the biggest terrorist attack in recent memory. Truth to tell, I really did think Zero Day was you. That's just Occam's razor. But if you insist on a conspiracy, Albion stood the most to gain. Have you really not thought of this? Whether or not you are Zero Day, you're still a fucking asshole. Get comfortable, Malik. Oh, I doubt I'll be here long. These walls will fall along with all of you soon enough. This radical cooperative you created is doomed to fail, like they all are. I've seen it a dozen times in a dozen places. You will tear yourselves apart. You won't even need Zero Day or Albion or whoever. A single unified ideology, a single strong leader. These have been the characteristics of power for all of human history. Democracy and pluralism were anomalies, blips on the timeline. That's what you are, dead sec. A footnote in the history of the Empire. But now the page is turning, and you are not ready for what happens next. What's good, Chief? I'm sorry for not being there eye on rail, but there's no way I'm coming out of my hidey hole. But... What the hell do you mean there's no open investigation? Are you the police or not? We are. And I mean it exactly the way it sounds. My friend was a journalist. She was working on a story about sirs kidnapping people off the street, and then she goes missing. You don't find that the slightest bit suspicious? Look, the decision not to investigate happened way, way over my pay grade. Do you understand? Way over. You're fucking in on it. Jesus Christ! I'm hanging up. And I'm recording this. She needs our help.
Albion personnel are here to ensure everyone's safety and security. Well, that was simple, even for you. Give me a moment to decipher the security codes. Sir Bagley, what do you have? Mary Kelly is holding her sale at Hackney Baths. Opened in 1904, it was, as the name implies, a public sanitation facility. In today's more enlightened modern times, it's a slave trading market. She mentioned foreign investors, so this is big. It means associates, clients, employees, anyone remotely involved in her organization. We're taking Mary Kelly down from within. Inspector Lau wants to take her case against Mary Kelly to a contact in the Attorney General's office, which means gathering as much data as we can to make sure it has the leverage needed for them to prosecute. The microchips are a huge part of this equation that we know almost nothing about. We need something tangible about these things. See if you can find anything. Blueprints, receipts, samples. So, the plan is simple. Crash the Kelly's soiree, find out as much as you can, and, minor detail, try not to get killed. Can't be too careful at the Bath's team. Mary can kill all her captives with the push of a button. If we try to free them now, they're good as dead. She doesn't know we're on to her yet. That gives us the advantage. What do we do now? Don't just blunder in. Hack the building's CTOS hub and see what to expect once you're inside. Good plan.
Listen. You're in for trouble, so fuck off. I'm so sorry. I'm inside. Get all the names, places, dates, whatever information you can in there. We need to build this case. And find a way to free those people. I will try to find out something. Aye, no one's here yet. Good thing, too. The champagne's late. And you know how these rich bastards are like free blanc. We end up the teeth with it. Yeah, products primed and ready for sale. No worries. Nah, she ain't. Not for this lot, at least, which is fine with me. She's the boss and all, but, uh, exactly. <laughs> Always on eggshells when she's around. Oh, bound to be bloody, too. <laughs> Come on, look at the camera. Straight. Right, that's good. Stand up now. And slowly turn around. I, I, I don't want to do this, please. Get your fucking ass up. Fucking miserable. There's no way this bastard will sell. The buyers expect high quality stuff. All right then, get him downstairs. We'll update the catalogue and put his stats no, online. No, no, I'm sorry. I'll do what you say. <laughs> Don't take me there, no! Shut the fuck up! Shit! 
What the fuck? We need to dig into this. Chances are good the basement will be locked. Chances are equally good that one of these knobheads left their access codes laying around somewhere. Thanks for the cellar key, knobhead. Fantastic. These rich people are drinking cocktails and buying slaves. Ugh, makes me want to vomit. That or kill them all. Keep your head. If we try anything before disabling the microchips, Mary Kelly is liable to purge her inventory. Add decades with a new heart. Kidneys, lungs, cornea. The Golden Goose offers a full range of merchandise sourced pre-mortem from the healthiest stock, ensuring maximum viability. Because health shouldn't be a... Well, there it is. The Golden Goose. Mary Kelly set up a fucking online marketplace for everything bad. Human traffic, black market organs, guns. I suggest washing your hands after this. Well, here's something interesting. Miss Kelly. Why is our explosive shipment delayed? You've received the crypto. Every penny, love. Must admit, I thought you were some trolls chatting shit in Mum's basement. And what do you think now? I think you're well funded. And my organisation could be implicated in something quite ghastly. I think the price just doubled. True to your reputation. But we can offer you something more valuable than money. <laughs> What's that then? Power. We can make you the Queen of London. Queen, eh? A queen is sovereign. Autonomous. Unchecked. Release our shipment. 
and London will be yours to rule. Oh, I know a good deal when I hear one. Fireworks are on their way. Careful you don't burn yourselves now. Ah, this is the nail in her coffin. Mary Kelly supplied the explosives for the bombings. Add that to the slaves and the organ market. She is done. That's an interesting turn of events. So Mary isn't Zero Day, but she's involved. I have to admit, Zero Day's plan to cover their tracks was clever, and it worked. Even I didn't suspect this, and I suspect a lot of things. Let's not lose sight of what we're doing here. We need everything on the Golden Goose for Caitlin's case. Bagley, were you able to recover any data? This is a simple market site. I've recovered inventory lists, but not much that will help Inspector Lau's case. Bagley, we need to find the Golden Goose's servers. We can pull the information Caitlin needs and shut this thing down before it fully launches. I'd love to, but the servers are rudely jumping all over the world. They're probably using a shuffle protocol and some kind of mixnet. I can work it out, obviously, but it will take me a few days. The guy upstairs are welcomed everyone seems to be running the show. Might save us some time.
Well, that figures. Oh, what now? I don't know. Something's blocking me. I'll have to call it in. Good instincts. I've got coordinates for the Golden Goose servers, and as a bonus, the microchip control relay. Both are at NeoGate. That is good work, Bagley. Uh, I'm not sure. Look at me doing your job for you. Dead sec. We need that server data. Once we have it, I'll take it to the Attorney General's office. Mary Kelly is going down for all of this. I think we should break the servers and the microchip control thing before we do that. People go free, we get to fuck shit up. Everybody's happy. Next stop, Neogate. It seems Mary hit the Golden Goose service in the heart of a cybersecurity software company. I don't condone her actions, but I must applaud the method. Great, uh, absolutely. Uh, if you could, if you can, yeah, sure. Yeah, no, honestly, if you wouldn't mind, that'd be fantastic. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs>